Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are finally able to play and show you guys some Time Survivors. This game comes out tomorrow. I've had access for a few weeks. I've put about five hours into it. I don't want to play any more because I am like, I feel like halfway through the game right now. Uh, I believe it's $5 on Steam. Again, it comes out tomorrow. It's like a 20% discount or whatever. You, you guys know the deal. Uh, anyways, it's a Vampire Survivors like with historical nonsense. Uh, this game is completely ridiculous, but I've been enjoying it quite a lot. Uh, it's fun, uh, which is the main point. They just got this uh, like talent tree kind of meta progression system. So right now we're uh, trying to go through the Egyptian stage to unlock the Ice Age. Um, as you see, the characters you're able to play are some historical figures like Abraham Lincoln, Cleopatra, Nero, Mulan, uh, Tesla, and you know, they have normal abilities like you'd expect from these people, such as, um, Cleopatra has a crossbow and she has a, a pet lion that I'm for sure that's historically accurate. And Nero, uh, famously known for throwing fireballs. Um, <laughs> it's, it's kind of what we're dealing with here. I don't know. Claire's like the starting character, like the in self insert of the game, I guess. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of silly. It's kind of a silly game. I, I don't really know who sh we should be playing here. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Nero because he's just kind of, he looks the dumbest in, in like the good way. And then you have different ages that you play through. There's currently, uh, one, two, three, four, five stages. And the skies of Egypt stage is a side scroller like old school. So we're playing Egypt, Egypt here. I haven't done this one yet. Now, this game is fairly difficult, it has a interesting art style. So every time you start up a game, you get the character's tutorial ability. Every character has their own unique ability in addition to like weapons and stuff. So Nero um, leaves a trail of fire when he walks. Now, he is exceptionally slow in contrast to a lot of the other characters. So picking up some move speed with him is kind of nice. Um, also, as you get meta progression resources, which you see up here in the top right, um, you get from different things in the game. Um, you'll be able to upgrade abilities like that's why I'm just get wing boots with him. That's why whenever I close in this loop of fire, uh, it, you know, causes that effect because I have uh, leveled up that meta progression. Uh, I was going to talk about this when it happened, and normally it happens like several minutes in. But this is a meta progression system thing. Uh, if you stand in this little time bubble. Uh, let's get fireball upgrade. If you stand in this little time bubble for the full duration, you get one of the time resources, like the most expensive of the resource, time, gem, crystal, whatever. Um, there's also, they've added since the demo, which I played a while back. There's a video on the channel somewhere of it, but there's been improvements since then. Uh, I don't really like flare that much. I say flare, I meant flail. Um, I don't really like leech. Nero has a lot of rerolls. Spicy chili is good. Let's take fireball again. You know, we only have four slots uh, for most of the time. You start with three, which is rough. The beginning is hard. Like this is the type of game where you're going to lose a lot more than you're going to win. Um, I know there's some games in the genre that have been like that. Uh, this is definitely one of them. I'm not big on yo-yo either. Uh, I think like getting better stuff is important in this game. I don't hate ice orb. I actually haven't used Bullhead either. There's just other things I'm after. Okay, let's take Iron Balls. You can't really go wrong with Iron Balls. Uh, it's extra projectiles. All right, so that happened. We completed it. We got time crystals. Uh, you might have noticed like those purple little insects or whatever inside there. Uh, you can't defeat them. They're just there to make you have to dodge inside. So there's like a lot of actual gameplay to this game. As far as survivors thing goes. There's also somewhat of a risk reward system, which I'll show off once I slowly narrow walk my way down to this bottom left corner. 
Um, but yeah, I've been having a good time with this. Um, it runs well on Steam Deck for what it's worth. Wait, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Uh, it will run on Steam Deck. I think they fixed it. So it runs well once you get into the game, but last time I tried, it didn't uh, work in the um, in that talent tree portion. But the problem was you had to get to the talent tree portion to actually get to the game. However, I emailed the dev about this, and I'm pretty sure that part's been fixed with controller support, which would resolve the issue. So um, assuming that's fixed, this game should run completely fine on the Steam Deck, because it works perfectly fine once you're in a run, because I tested that out. So that's pretty nice. And then other characters have like activated abilities. So each character's uh, fairly different. OK, we haven't used Shrinker yet, and it's going to unlock a character. I'm pretty sure Shrinker unlocks Napoleon, which is um, wildly appropriate. Basically, I needed to get Shrinker and I needed to get uh, Shurikens as the other uh, as my other weapons, because those are the things I need to unlock. Like, I think Nobunaga needs me to do a lot more damage with Shurikens to get unlocked and then Shrinker needs, I need to do some amount of damage with this to unlock Napoleon. I don't actually understand how it works. I guess I stand still and shrink. Oh, oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Um, this is my first time using it. I just unlocked it last time after, because the last time I played, I beat the, uh, the uh, side scrolling level, which was 10 minutes. Most runs in this are 20. Uh, that level was 10. So, you know, there's very uh, variations in the stages times, which is fine with it, um, which I'm fine with, I should say. Uh, words are hard today. I don't know. I had a migraine all day yesterday, so forgive me if I sound a little like ridiculous. Uh, sleep wasn't great. Anyways, um, I have been, I've been, you know, I've been kind of excited to show this one off to you guys because this is, this is one of those games that I don't think is going to like, you know, this isn't going to take the genre by storm, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> I've been, um, when I have like an extra 20 minutes and, you know, to do whatever uh, and just like figure you know just kill some time this is a this is a good one um i like tesla i like playing tesla i like playing um there's another character who i greatly enjoy too all the uh would be telescope to make the shrink rate bigger I've also never seen this many of these time things um, in the same run before, so they may have gotten buffed. Also, full disclaimer, there's a good chance that we, there's like, I would say a like 90% chance, um, if I were to give my scientific answer, <laughs> as to our chances of losing this run. Uh, this game is hard, hard. Like, do not expect to win. Oh, also, I, I kind of skipped through that. Every, uh, at certain in intervals during the waves. So, like, in this case, like, five minutes. I guess timestamps is the word, not intervals. I don't know. Man, I am out of it today. I'm so sorry. Anyways, at certain intervals during the run, you will get um, your four ability will rank up and you get to decide where to power that up, which I think is a nice touch. It adds a little something. It's a great sling. So there's no uh, combining things as of right now. You do. Uh, well, this is a lot of XP at one time. You do get to um, evolve, like uh, 
ascend weapons, kind of. In the fact of if you have the resources and the character unlocked, you are allowed to uh, push them beyond their normal means and you get to upgrade one of them. Um, can I can I step on that without ding damn? Oh, my God, I think we're dead. OK, so then we need to talk about relics because this is a thing. These are basically cursed items that once you free the curse, they become very powerful and typically are how you're going to win. However, until you free the curse, it's a bad it's a bad time. So like golden apples, which is what we're going to take. Um, we have to pick up an apple until we pick up an apple. Any vase we break spawns a golden gargoyle. They're being nasty monsters. Uh, there is a golden gargoyle. So hopefully an apple spawns and this isn't bad. And then after that, we start getting more apples and then that good things will happen from there. But um, it's very possible that you can end up in a spot where you don't you don't find an apple and you just find a bunch of gargoyles and you're having a bad time. I do think there's one that's currently unbalanced um, that's based on crit. It's also like the hardest to get through because um, it's something along the lines of you have to kill 200 enemies, but until you defeat 200 enemies, every time they die, they sp they spawn like 10 bullets or something. And it's a lot of it it's becomes a bullet hell for like 30 seconds or a minute. But once you do that, um, every time you crit, you heal and then you pick an item that gives you 100 percent crit and uh, it doesn't make you invincible. OK, see, this is bad, but there's an apple. So we just get the apple. OK, we've resolved the curse. <laughs> there's Phoenix is coming at us. Uh, um, I'm not even going to stand in this. We're too we're too injured. These damn scarabs. So, yeah, and each stage has different stuff like the Dark Ages has like. Uh, has like undead type stuff. Uh, more gothic. -y. This one is well, I don't think I need to explain to you what this one is. The uh, Stone Age stage is dinosaurs specifically. Uh, I I mean, I could guess what Ice Age is, but I don't know yet. I'm not there. There's also some hilarious power ups, which I'm about to show you. Um, this being my favorite one, the magic mushroom here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you just get big and you stomp around. And it's fantastic and it, it feels good. And I think that's really the important part of this game, right? Is that it it feels good to play. Um, you know, it's just enjoyable. That's kind of the metric I go by with these games now, because there's like there's so many survivor games, right? Um, and if you can't do silly things like look at these rocks we're throwing. I don't even I don't even really love the graphics, honestly, like it's not. It's definitely got a certain art style with the with the units and whatnot, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. But at the same time, it's not bad. All right, we got our Roman napalm. As that's the legendary upgrade we're going to take. So that means we we're locked out of any others, which I also don't know if I love that, but I don't know if you can upgrade that as well either. Um, Again, there are some meta progression things and some characters do have basically all the characters have unique stats, um, like drastically unique between like move speed, HP, amount of rerolls, pick up range, XP gain, like base damage, attack speed. Like each character is drastically different stat wise in addition to their abilities. So that's a that is a nice point to the game, I think. I think we're a it's a little lacking on weapons in its current state. At least that's how it feels. Um, let's take some more movement speed. Again, we're trying to roll into shurikens, but we just haven't seen it. 
you will not have that problem at the start of the game um for sure rolling into items because there's like our weapons but uh the progression's pretty quick too you're not really like waiting forever all right we're gonna take damage here And then at some point, there should be an elite coming around here. Well, let me rephrase that. There should be a boss coming up because the those rats have obviously been elites. Um, that's why they drop stuff and money, which we desperately need. Um, I need to go find the other curse. But we don't have the crit item, so I don't really know what we're going to do. Also, it's surrounded by spikes. Oh, I could probably just fire it off. Oh my gosh, we almost died. Um, apples, please, please. Oh, OK, we're just going to we're going to get this. Stomp. <laughs> Stomp around. I do, I freaking love this. I got I gotta say it's that is so satisfying. All right, the shrink worry item is like it feels not great. I'm gonna be honest. We have to use it a little bit to actually like unlock Napoleon for progression's sake because Napoleon's locking the character behind him as well. But like. Gosh, all right, we unlocked Napoleon. Fantastic. All right, we got power ups. The power ups in this game are fantastic. So this is like insane speed. Pretty obviously. Hey, Shuriken. It finally appeared. Everything is chaos. I don't I don't really know what's happening right now. I think this might be a problem with uh Nero more so than anybody else is that once you start just filling the world with fire um it's really hard to see uh I have not had that problem with anybody else it's also not as I think it's worse on this stage and it's been on any other stage because of the background uh also of note you see that there is a fifth weapon and item slot on the character that appears to be locked right now. That's because it's locked because you can't unlock it until you clear the next, the stage after this one, or you get through like five minutes with it. And then at that point, you get the uh, fifth slot on each character. So, uh, by end game, each character will have five weapons and five. Um, item slots in addition to their ability for a 20 minute run, which uh, I feel like it's going to end up having to be something that gets bumped up once. But then again, who knows with the balance, right? All right, let's get big again. It's the best part of the game. Nero smash. I kind of wish that it kept your uh, abilities while you're like that but it seems like it just trained it, it transforms you into like a, just a different character uh with the same model because every character loses their abilities when they're transformed i also like the uh, idea that you have that you have to like pick and choose your legendary upgrade um although I would argue that they're not exactly balanced currently because some of them seem extremely powerful. Whereas uh, some of the upgrades seem not quite uh, as exciting. So I think we're maxed out on all of our abilities now at 14 minutes, which again, I think is too early, but now we just have to survive. But yeah, I've been enjoying the game. I think, you know, for for what it is, if you like nonsense history BS, um, 
it's a fun one. If you don't, um, you might still have fun with it. Like, I mean, if you like the genre, if you like this genre, you're probably going to get a little bit of time out of this at the very least. If you like the history stuff and the genre, then it's definitely worth it. And if you don't like the genre, then I'm surprised you're watching this channel. OK, we're dead. Uh, like I said, kind of expected. I don't know how the gun is supposed to work. But now you'll kind of see how this goes. So, right. So we unlocked Napoleon, who's got Vince locked up here. So Napoleon starts with this stuff, right? And you can upgrade it all with the gold that we found in 52K and these other resources. Then he has Shrinker. So this weapon is linked to him. So to get his legendary evolution, we have to spend the time crystals on that and so on. And then his ability, Gem Bomb. Gems around you turn into bombs that damage enemies. That's interesting. And reach level 51 with Napoleon in any stage. That seems not great. Um, all right, let's give him some HP. Let's just purchase some stuff with our gold. I'm a little more hesitant on the uh, spending other resources, but I will say that th what the hell? Uh, Napoleon has a 100% crit chance. OK, see, that's super interesting. He also has two relic slots. One extra weapon ammo. He also has a resurrect. What is this character? OK, anyways, <laughs> so then you compare that to like this. No extra weapon ammo, no resurrect, um, but then like different other stats. But then you have this uh, Chrono Forge that was added. So you can if you're short on other stuff, you can turn gold into it. Um, anyways, let's take Napoleon into, uh, I don't know. I guess we could try the stone age or the, the Egyptian age. There's also the stone age, but I, I feel like we're supposed to go back to Egypt, but I'll, I'll show you guys the stone age. I feel like that's appropriate. I don't know how far we're going to get. I'm kind of like not feeling this uh, shrink away weapon gem bombs. Napoleon can transform XP gems into damaging gem bombs, dealing damage based on gem XP. The ability has cooldown. Pressing the action button. Yes, I I do understand how that works. Oh, also, there's meteors on the Stone Age stage. Also, you could die immediately on the stage, which I'm going to show you right now. Um. So that is one of the things you're dealing with in this game. I thought I would show that off real quick is that the game is very much willing to um, end you immediately. This starting weapon is absolute asshole. Um, it OK, and then we're in the stampede here. What if we took a flail? <laughs> I love the way the characters look. I feel like Napoleon's a little bit too tall, though. All right, can I? That was a bomb. Uh, let's reroll. Let's. I feel like Shrinker is just bad. All right, upgrade flail. We don't need. Um... <sighs> well, shit, I don't know. We don't need. Let's take telescope. Uh, there's also T-Rexes. They're pretty big. I don't know what I was to say. We don't need something. Anyways, uh, you also have the option to add like turbo mode to each stage and like some harder modes. Um, you have to pay to unlock it. We can take the yo-yo. It's interesting. Um, it works with extra projectiles, but it doesn't add extra yo-yos. It just um, well, it does, but it adds it to the end of the other yo-yo. Also, 
notice we're getting pushed back. That's because we're on the edge of the meteor. If you stand underneath the meteor, you just die, in my experience. Okay, we'll take blue chili, I guess. So, my immediate thought, right, is that Napoleon's bad. Napoleon's, like, really bad. So the little raptors from Jurassic Park 2 that killed that girl on the beach. Sorry for the spoilers. Um, the shrink ray is awful. That's my current opinion. I, I like... Okay, that... That working on elites is kind of good. But the way the game works, like... Starting with it is so bad. Maybe it's better than I'm giving it credit for if you, like... Get it going. But that was just like... It was unbelievable. And I mean, I've had that situation with other characters too, where some things are just not good. I guess we take Amoeba. Amoeba's not terrible. With extra projectiles. But yeah, so every character has a, wep a weapon linked to them. Which you can pump up. I wonder if you can blow up things that are... I wanted to see if you could blow up things that are flying to you. Doesn't seem like you can. So I also haven't even beaten this stage either. Um, they, again, the game is very hard. Certain things seem to be significantly better than others. So I'm hoping for a little bit of balancing coming out. Um, it's also possible I'm just like doing it wrong. I'm, I'm fully willing to believe that as well. But I think with the amount of time I put in, I would have figured out by now. Um, oh, that's right. These dinosaurs stop when you look at them, which is hilarious. Remember that time Napoleon went back in time and fought the dinosaurs to save the world? Okay, well, that gym bomb was kind of sweet. I wonder... I want to get to five minutes here before we end the video and see what's up with like uh, what the Napoleon gem bomb upgrades are on the weapon uh, if we you know if we survive. I think my problem with shrink ray is that you have to stop moving. I think stopping moving in this game is like a death sentence for the most part. At least that's how it feels. Maybe you have to stutter step a lot. Maybe that's the trick. Duration, crit chance. That doesn't seem good as telescope, I guess. Boom. Oh, so these swords are also meta progression. That's why they have a health bar and we've been blowing them up. If perhaps you've been wondering. Uh, um, lucky hand is like drops and stuff, but I don't really think that's it. Oh, we can just take amoeba. More amoeba is pretty good. Am I about to curse us right before? Like, we're not gonna. I want to see five minutes before we die. So this, uh, in this stage, there's a boss that basically like big old plant boss. Not plant boss, plant mini boss. Um, the boss of the stage is completely different because the boss of the first stage like had his own arena and his own HP bar and he was named. It was kind of cool. Um, but again, it's like extremely hard to get there in my experience if, unless you pick like the correct weapons. So that's why I say like certain the viability of some things I think is needs to be a little worked on. But, um, yeah, let's see. Double gem bomb damage, 4x the value, or 30% cooldown, and then... Okay, well... We can... Alright, and then this is... You can get even tinier. You get real small, but then... If you, uh, break 10 vases... 
you get five extra seconds on power ups, which can be really good. But instead, what was going to happen is we're going to die. Now we're just going to die. But uh, yeah, that's the game. It's it's a good time. Again, very hard. You kind of have to plan out your builds and know what you're doing. And, you know, once you I think once you actually get to the Ice Age down here, um, getting this fifth extra slot, the game will get significantly easier. But until then, it is a challenge and you kind of need to build around, you know, use the correct passives like extra projectiles with projectile weapons and so on to get what you want to do. But overall, it's pretty fun. It also has this sandbox mode if you want to jump in with, uh, you know, Mulan here into the Dark Age. You can, um, you know, do some fighting here. Which is not um, normal for this genre, right? Like... Oh, also, this is Mulan's ability. She turns into her father, literally, which I think is like super weird. But look, you can spawn any enemy. It's like a whole encyclopedia. Which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, this is the first boss. Who's going to, uh, you know, crush us. But uh, yeah, that's uh, so that's the game. I hope you guys uh, like it. If you do, uh, there's a link in the description to check it out on uh, Steam. This is not a sponsored video or anything. I just I enjoy the game. I like like showing off indie devs. That's a lot of zombies. Um, anyways, don't forget to do YouTube stuff like comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Jeff out. Bye.